Hello everybody, welcome to the I Am IT YouTube channel. My name is Shabazz Dan, as ever, I am the IT Geek. We are back with the final part of the Plan and Deploy Azure Stack HCI topic. Um, so we're, this is the, the entire series is around Azure Stack. Um, so HCI, Hub, Edge, etc. I am focusing on HCI more because my end goal is I want to deploy Azure Virtual Desktop, um, which I'm kind of in the process of doing all the configuration and just having a play really with HCI boxy but in my sandboxed area, in my, in my tenant. Um, but again, we're kind of going through the theory of a lot of Azure Stack services. Um, and at the moment, we're on the plan deploy Azure Stack HCI topic. So this is the final part. So without further ado, let's get started with this episode. So we are part four, final part. So it's going to do um, the final few sort of um, topic areas around um, planning and deploying Azure Stack HCI. So in part four, which is today's topic, we are on today's episode, we're going to talk about integrating Azure Stack HCI with other Azure services. So let's talk about some of the key benefits. So with Azure Stack HCI clusters, your Azure Arc Agent is included as part of the cluster nodes operating system, so you don't need to install it. You activate it by registering Azure Stack HCI cluster with Azure Arc, and which automatically enables Arc-based monitoring, support, and billing. Azure Arc enables you to leverage Azure Resource Manager functionality and maintain Azure Stack HCI clusters, um, which include um, you know, classifying all organizational resources by using Azure Management Group, subscription resource groups, and tags. Um, you know, devising a single sort of comprehensive inventory um, of your sort of organizational assets. Um, uh, and, you know, multi clouds on premises, including support for searchable, uh, for searching and indexing by using Azure Resource Graph. Also, providing consolidated display uh, and Azure Arc enabled resources by using Azure Portal, Azure CLI. PowerShell or uh, Azure REST APIs as well. So other key benefits I want to touch on, again, I'm going to go into more detail about these, are integration with Azure Hybrid Services, integration with Azure Monitor, and uh, integration with Azure Backup as well, uh, as well as Azure Site Recovery. So let's talk a little bit about the integration with Azure Hybrid Services. So how does Azure Stack HCI benefit from integrations with Azure Hybrid Services? It integrates with uh, Azure services, including Azure Monitor, Azure Backup, and Azure Site Recovery, um, and it, therefore it leverages these services for its critical functionality. Um, it, to implement this integration, you, know, you need to install one or more agents, um, or, or more sort of on, agents on premises to your physical and virtual servers. Azure Monitor and Azure Update Manager and, and Microsoft Friend of the Cloud require installation of Log Analytics Agent. The Log Analytics Agent Manager is a collection of Windows event logs, Windows performance counters, file-based logs that you explicitly specify, and metric logs associated with Azure Monitor or Azure Automation Monitoring and Management Solutions that you decide uh, to enable. Let's talk about how Azure Monitor integration with Azure Monitor services benefits Azure Stack HCI. So, um, the Max, uh, Microsoft Azure Monitor is a core component of the Microsoft strategy to extend comprehensive cloud-based monitoring functionality beyond Azure to on-premises data centers. Uh, and it provides three main sort of capabilities. We've got metric-based monitoring, uh, which is sort of metrics and numeric values that represent health status uh, and monitor systems. We've then got querying and analyzing logs, so logs that include activity, diagnostics, and system-generated data. Finally, we have alerting and remediation. So this, uh, these alerts notify you of anomalous conditions, uh, allow you to configure automatically triggered sort of corrective actions. So how does Azure Backup benefit um, Azure Stack HCI? So uh, the integration with Azure Backup implements backup of cloud um, based on premises wind workloads, including short term and long term backup storage. From premise scenarios, its functionality often minimizes or even eliminates the need for maintaining physical backup media. In the context of Azure Stack ACI, Azure Backup offers uh, multiple backup options, including a sort of local fire, file, folder, and system state backups performed by using Azure Backup on your Windows server and stored in Azure by taking advantage of your locally installed recovery service agents. You can have long-term storage of backups of Windows servers performed by using uh, Microsoft Azure Backup Server um, with recovery service agents installed on the Microsoft Azure Backup Server. Finally, the third one is long-term storage of backup win backups of Windows servers performed by using System Center Data Protection Manager, DPM, with recovery services. 
um, with the recovery services agent installed on the DPM server. So finally, let's talk about how Azure Site Recovery benefits Azure Stack ACI. So Azure Site Recovery is a cloud-based DR or disaster recovery service that protects on-premises and cloud workloads by relying on replication and orchestration. Replication synchronizes the content of operating systems and data disks between physical or virtual machines that reside in the primary site that's hosting a production environment and VMs in the secondary site, uh, the disaster recovery site. In Azure Stack HCI deployments, Azure Stack Recovery provides support for multiple disaster recovery scenarios, uh, including sort of disaster recovery of Hyper-V VMs that are not managed uh, by System Center Virtual Machine Manager or SCVMM from the Azure Stack HCI cluster to Azure Site Recovery based replication. The next scenario is disaster recovery of Hyper-V uh, VMs managed by SCVMM from Azure Stack HCI cluster to Azure Site Recovery based replication and there's disaster recovery of Hyper-V VMs managed by SCVMM between two Azure Stack HCI clusters by using Hyper-V replication based replication. So it is now demo time. So again, we are back in the Azure portal. We're going to do some uh, more configuration. We'll get to that point where we're going to start deploying Azure, Azure AVD uh, within our Stack HCI um, sandbox. So without further ado, let's go back into the demo portal. So welcome back. Um, we are back with another demo, um, and I wanted to do a bit of VM management. Um, but before, so I've, I've obviously deployed a virtual machine. Now, again, if you remember, we had some issues deploying virtual machines, but um, we we managed to get one deployed successfully, and it's healthy and it's connected, which is great. Um, so I want to do some of the management stuff on here, but um, I also wanted to show. So this is this is one thing about the the Azure Stack HCI or the Azure Stack that I've installed on my demo tenant uses nested virtualization. Now we've been speaking about nested virtualization on some of my videos in the theory element, um, but if you just look, uh, so we're, we're we're essentially connected to our HCI box, right? And our HCI box has Hyper V installed on it, and it's got those are the two Arc hosts there. It's got three Arc hosts. Um, and this is the management one. So what I did done is I've, I've connected to the management one, and that also has um, that has Hyper V installed on it. Uh, one thing I want to do on here is I actually want to do the Azure Arc setup as well. We'll do that in a second. So from here we can actually connect uh, connecting from VM to VM to VM here. Uh, so again, we should be able to install or log into this. Um, hopefully. Yeah, okay, so this should use the same credentials as what I've been using because it uses that throughout the um, throughout your setup. Now again, if you look if you look here, according to this, according to my uh, so if we go down to virtual machines. Where is it? So we are on the virtual machine. Uh, the actual yeah, it says the the location is jump start. I'm assuming that means this. Um, so again, let's see, it's, it can't be Hyper-V installed on this, can it? So this is a Windows, oh, Server 2020, yeah, okay. So um, I want to see if, if uh, I'll try to see where the virtual machine actually, because I can connect to it through SSH, but I want to see if I can actually connect it through Windows. So obviously it's a bit more slower in, you know, in, in when you're clicking on stuff. Because um, we are in sort of a nested, um, so our Hyper-V is not on here, so this is not a Hyper-V box. Um, so this is just like a, it's called Jump Start is this server. Um, but then if I just go, it might be where it's physically located, so the actual domain, no. Hmm. Just wanted to see if I could find actually where the VM is, um, but you can't which is fine now um on my so here i am connected to my uh where i was anyway so this is i can't i'm losing track of which machine i'm connected to so i want to connect to my az management box here and so i want to do the installation of the i want to try and install the azure Arc setup So Azure Arc setup. So uh, yeah. 
So Azure Act connects you, your, you, your service to Azure, giving you faster access to Microsoft Best Manager. Okay, cool. So this essentially, this is, so say, let, let's just imagine this is on-premises and we want to connect it to Azure Arc, essentially. Um, making sure all the prerequisites are met first. And after installing the machine agent. So from Azure Arc, we will be able to manage our, um, our virtual like So on this, on this AZS uh, management server, I should be able to create virtual machines in my hypervisor and I should be able to manage them within my Azure Arc. Um, so what we'll do is we'll wait for that to finish completing um, and then we'll move on to the next step. So that's installed the actual Azure Connected machine agent. So let's click on configure now and see what that brings us. Okay, so this was going to guide guide us through that configuration of the Azure Connected Machine Agent. Um, so the following steps will be actually going to sign to Azure and then enter resource details. Okay, cool, that's fine. So um, it is Azure Global, that's fine. Sign into Azure. So it'll pop up with a. We do all this rubbish first. Just want to browse. <laughs> um, let's put our, oh, put our credentials in. I never. So we can close this now, which is great. So we've signed in, that's fine, let's click on next. And now we need to go to, uh, so it's the IMIT Geek subscription, that's the directory. It's the IMIT Geek subscription, that's fine. Uh, it's the, where is it, there it is, the HCI box, rah, rah, rg. And from a region perspective, everything is in um, East US, so I'm just gonna stick to that. Leave it a public endpoint for the purposes of the demo. I hope it's gonna connect the server with Azure Arc and then Try and see in Azure Arc if we can actually see the server. Um, so we'll let this connect and then we'll pop back to finish the. Oh no, it's finished. <laughs> I thought it was going to take a while. Okay, cool. So let's finish that. So to view, so let's, uh, let's actually click. Click finish there as well. Oh, I've got to close the browser. I should have closed the browser. Oh, no, I actually need to log in, not put my, put my password in. Sorry. My assumption is this is going to go into Azure Arc within um, the Azure portal, which is my jump start here, jump start DC here. Um, okay, so let's just go to uh, Arc. Might be better off creating a new VM really to try this. So look at all Azure resources. So, so it's got all these machines. We can see our Jumpstart DC there as well. Um, so yeah, East, East, East US should have really chosen West Europe, but who cares? Anyway, just to show the difference there. Um, so it's there. So done, job done. Uh, so yeah, that was just enabling Azure Arc on um, on one of my VMs just to just to show that process of, of how you can do that as well. Um, in the next demo, we will start doing some VM management. I just wanted to have a play with Azure Arc for a bit on this demo. Um, again, we are getting close to deploying uh, AVD on my Azure Stack HCI as well. So thank you everybody for watching. Please drop me any comments, any feedback. I have had some feedback, um, productive feedback already. So I do appreciate that. Keep on following, you know, keep on subscribing and try to grow my channel. I am targeting 10K by the end of the year. So we are in uh, end of March right now. So you know i've got got about nine months to try and get there so i do appreciate everyone's support so continue to, to subscribe if you're new to the channel um and yeah i've got loads more different series that you can if you are new we've got loads obviously of the content so please do check that out as well so until next time thank you and goodbye